How's it going, chicks and mates? This is Mr. De Charles, and we are back with Zoo Tycoon. Oh, I've missed that underwater polar bear. It is totally an underwater polar bear. Look at it. It's like trying to swim. Oh, I swear, like these polar bears, they're either royal or mad. Right, so this time we're on a map called Holiday Tree Farm. It is still a beginner. Next time it looks like it's going to be dinosaur digs. But, you know what, I'm doing this in order, so... Yeah, don't worry, this map will still be good. Anyway, an enterprising young entrepreneur has opened a holiday tree farm near your home. Um, this guy does know that we're a zookeeper. We don't look after trees. Trees are not animals, they are plants. Sure, why not? He has heard of your initial successes in creating zoos. I'm a god at zoos. May I can control Ark of Asylum. He hopes that a few exhibits with appropriate animals will serve as a draw for your customers to this holiday tree farm. Okay, so it's like an advertising scheme. That's actually quite clever. You have been given an expanse of hilly coniferous land, covered with many pine trees. He asks that you build exhibits for moose, arctic wolves, and grizzly bears. Oh, please give me a chance to like, let me choose a camel. Let me choose something cool. He also alludes that if you are able to build an exhibit for a reindeer, there may be an extra incentive for you. We're actually going to have a reindeer, and it's not going to be a murderous rhino that I pretend is a reindeer. Oh, well, to be fair, I don't remember this map. I don't remember ever doing it. I'm wondering what this map's all about. So, achieve a zoo rating of 70. That's simple enough. Achieve an average annual happiness of 90. Ooh, that might be tricky. Earn an exhibit suitability of 84. Moose, Arctic, yeah, okay. I'm wondering if we're going to have specific animals again. It doesn't say I can't adopt, but it is saying I need specific animals, so I'm not looking forward to that. But you know what? If I can get reindeer, yes please. Oh! And if you look carefully, if you look very carefully, friggin' look at that Christmas tree. Oh, we do wish you a Merry Christmas. At like, the beginning of autumn. Oh, and there's a snowman. Who wouldn't want to go to this park? I mean, it's basically like the beginning of autumn, the very end of summer, and we have a snowman outside our zoo. Oh, you know what? I might as well call this the early Christmas special. Um, they have a problem. That I just realized the pine trees are taking up all the exhibit space. I mean, I could do a Bill Gates and demolish it all, and I would love the 2.3k. I'm not going to though, only because I have respect for the environment. Still, with only 25k, I mean, I might have to do that. Right. Ah, okay, we can get as many as we want, but we have to get those three specific animals to get the job done. So, what's the first one on our list? Uh, so the first one is a moose exhibit. I think I made a moose exhibit yet. Oh yeah, there was like the tutorial. And then there was that weird moose that was a YouTuber. And everyone was trying to perv on him. Uh, that shouldn't be too hard. Should I actually start calling my exhibits something? I mean, I feel like the exhibits should have a voice of their own. Um, let's call this the playpen. I make these mooses sound like porn stars. That They're not, I assure you. Oh my god! What kind of horse is that? Look at... Look at his neck! I'm pretty sure the Ice Age... Oh, this is the du Wait, so I have access to all animals now? <gasps> I can get water animals! I can get dinosaurs! I can get... Friggin' look... Oh, why don't I just get a dinosaur? Oh, that's cool. Oh, and they have tortoises. Where are you? Aha! Uh -huh, a green sea turtle! Oh, uh, you can float on land! I believe in you! Right, okay, I'm going off- I'm going off topic here. I need to get- I need to at least get those three animals first. So let's have a daddy moose and a mummy moose. Oh, the mummy moose doesn't have any horns. What if, like... What if the woman wants to, like, kill someone? I mean, we've gone past Arkham Asylum now, but... Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, so, I know conif coniferous, I think they're coniferous, they like a bit of decad 
De- Decaduus? I can never say it. Like, why couldn't, like, the person who discovered Coniferous and Decaduus find words that actually sound English or something that actually sounds pronounceable? Unfortunately, this great explorer who discovered the land of Coniferous thought he'd be a dick and just name the word only he knows how to name. That's annoying, but still. Is this enough fresh water? I was going to say. Apparently these guys want grass. I mean, to be fair, coniferous just like looks like really stylish grass, but whatever. Wow, these guys are extravagant. These guys are like more extravagant than like fashion models. I Wouldn't you like to live in this exhibit? Look at all the colours. I mean, you've got the, the colour of poo. You've got the colour of like water. And then you've got like a bit of... Th- Screwed up green, which you would not see anywhere except in your nightmares. How much grass do you want? Is it after all this time you didn't? Oh, okay. I thought they didn't even want coniferous, and I thought they just like tricked me and just wanted grass. Then, so we need foliage, rocks, and shelters. I bet they like the really boring rock. This is coniferous, though. Oh, okay. No, what about a medium rock. Yes, you like the medium rock. I swear I'm seeing new content. I don't remember those rocks. I thought that was only this rock formation. Oh, maybe this, but still. Um, let's get the worst thing out of the way, actually. Let's go for the shelters. Let me guess. You don't like stables. Oh. God, maybe I should actually consider taking like a university degree in animals and learn what these animals are actually about. Okay. And now the fun bit. What trees do you like? Uh... See, to be fair, I'm one, I think they're going to like Decatuus and Coniferous. Uh, that's grassland, though. That's... Okay. What looks nice? Does this look nice? No, it doesn't. How about this? Oh, wow! Look at that! That's beautiful! That is like a proper light green. I am now the Pablo Picasso of Zoo Tycoon. No one comes here to see these animals like walk around and show off their butts. Which, might I add, these guys specifically do. But they like my art architecture. Oh, they like cherry trees. Okay, can we get some coniferous up in this house? Do you like these cedar trees? Wow, these guys like all the cool stuff. It's a shame I'm just kind of like putting them in bunches though. Maybe I should have them a bit more spontaneously spread. Like so. Uh, how about some nice bushes? To have along... The bit here. Uh, okay, and... Wow! Like, I can see why this guy wanted to open a tree place and thought the animals was a good idea. Like, you've got, like, this army. This army of trees. We're not ruled by frogs anymore. We are ruled by, like, endless trees. And then we have, like, a beautiful garden of trees. And a freaking Christmas tree. I mean, personally, I wouldn't think putting an exhibit here would be a good idea. Because if the moose see this Christmas tree, they will go crazy and just escape. But you know what? It's the tycoon's idea to have a Christmas tree in in February, according to this game. It's a bit late for a Christmas tree, but sure, whatever. Right, it is time to name them. What, 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 what? Sh- oh, hang on. Yeah, let's name them first. I need to still get them food, but you know what? <laughs> their, their needs can come later. We need to call them something stupid. Um, Let's call you... Butthole. You are butthole. And you are ass munch. Butthole can't find any food. Well, eat the poo poo. Eat it. So, oh my god, we have everything now. Zookeeper. Zookeeper, come back, Zookeeper. I need to name you too. Zookeeper, your name is Greg. Enough said. And these animals, um,. They are like human resources people. They like they like hire people to come to this place. They hired the, they hired Greg. They hired that Christmas tree like to scare all of the people, all the people, all the animals away. Like they probably hired all these trees. I mean, these trees like on their CV they saw it said, "What are your like skills?" And these trees were like uh, sitting around. Well, no, not sitting, standing around and doing nothing. Uh, do you work good with loads of people? Um, yes, you do, because there's, like, a hundred of you. And then, you know, all these trees got the job. And that's all because, like, 
butthole is it butthole butthole and ass munch like hired them see that is why a business needs human resources and do you know what human resources being a pair of moose happens to be a good idea right what what's the next animal uh oh crap we only have 8k oh um Right, I would love to, I would love to be able to say, oh, let's get, like, let's destroy the trees. The only thing is, I think I'd feel a bit of a dick if the guy said, oh, I'm making this, like, ex like zoo place to promote these trees. And then to be a dick, I was like, oh, you know what, you don't need these trees. Get rid of them all and destroy the place. I think that's probably what this tutorial wants me to do. Because I can't sell the trees, and one tiny patch was like 3k. But I only want to resort to that if I have to. So, I think we need to start working on, like, trying to get, like, this place to earn some money. Now, I know back in my old... Pl Ooh, compost building. Mm, I think compost buildings only make about 500 a month, which is good... But considering in the whole of things, if I have 11 months left, that will only make me about... 5,500 isn't bad. But I'm wondering if that repels guests, is that going to mean it's going to stop other buildings making profit? I'd rather not resort to a compost building quite yet. I know I need a restaurant. That's, that's a good move in this game. Restaurants are probably like the best way to make money, to be fair, because they fill needs and stuff. Uh, do I really want to put it there, though? I did want an exhibit here. No, okay. If I rotate it, maybe put it near the entrance. And then get a pathway. I want a, I want a nice path. I don't want a crap one. Yes. Should I get a gift store? There really isn't much room to do anything, unfortunately. And to be fair, if I'm not going to cut any of these trees down... Huh. I'm going to need a path around here, surely. So if I get a path there... I could get an exhibit going about here somewhere. And maybe... Maybe, maybe not one next to it. I've just made things impossible for myself. That's a good start to this video, isn't it? What are my profits showing at the moment? Oh, wait, I can get funding. Um, I, You definitely need funding in this game. If you want to get loads of guests, you need funding. I'll probably get medium. The thing I'm thinking about is, how far do I go with this price tag? On one hand, if I make it high, then sure, each guest will make a decent amount of money when they come in. But that means less people will come, and that means less people will go to the restaurant. I might raise it a bit. It depends. Mm. Oh, you know, that's the thing. I don't even remember like how to properly play this game. I know pretty much whatever you get, you raise the price of it just slightly so you get more profit. And I know restaurants, I think maybe also gift shops, are a great way of making money. Oh... Uh... What does my fi what's my financial situation? What's costing what? Okay, so I've got a decent amount of income for admissions. Uh concessions start con just concessions are basically stuff you sell like restaurants, gift shops. Private donations, I think you get more of it the more exhibits you have, so I'm not expecting to make much of that at the moment. And even then, when you have loads, I think it only makes like 500 or maybe 1,000 at most. Uh, show income, that's for the sea animals. And recycling benefit would be like the compost. Uh, zoo upkeep's small, but then I only have one zookeeper at the moment. Mm. Zoo marketing is going to cost a bit too. I want to start making like exhibits now. I just, mm, I need to focus on the customer. The customer is always right. Always. 
So, if I lower the terrain a bit over here, is this what I'm looking for? Yes. I'm thinking if I get a gift shop going, if I can find a gift shop, yeah, if we get a gift shop, then rotate that. That's the entrance. Raise the price about twelve fifty. I might have had it higher in the last video, and the gift shop actually did sell a lot. <laughs> Although weirdly, ice cream sold the most. So, based on that fact, I think I'm going to buy some ice cream. Oh, need rest restroom too. Uh, so that's a restroom. That sorts to that. I mean, at the moment, I don't need to worry too much about getting loads of restrooms and restaurants and stuff because this is a small place. Uh. I do need chairs, and I wouldn't... Yeah, there's the ice cream stand. Let's have that right next to the toilet. So as you are eating ice cream, you can watch people take a crap. Uh, and I guess benches would be best over here. Now... I... Mm. See, if I was a heartless asshole, I could just, like make my own like exhibit for one and make it just smaller and I could afford that it's just I don't want to be an asshole I mean I wouldn't cage someone up and then just leave them to live alone all their life at least these like animals have each other um you know what? I think I might wait a bit I think I'm gonna end the episode here and I think I might wait for some money to come in the next episode uh well, we'll try and make another exhibit. I can't promise that I'll make loads of exhibits in the next episode because money is scarce. I can't believe this is happening so early. But you know what? Even if it does turn out that this is getting nowhere, then I will make sure to sell the trees. But anyway, that's it for now. We have HR. But what about, what about the rest of the gang? What will these trees do? Are these trees coming to life at night? Is is guest number 93 having fun? Does she want to be a gift? No, she doesn't. She doesn't want to fuse with it. Okay. Well, anyway, look out for my book. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until the next time, see ya.